welcome back for another video. Today I'm going to be doing a one week update on my Freedom Couture wig that I did a review on last week. This video has become very popular on my channel. Um, I'm really impressed with the amount of views that I have gotten in the course of a week's time. So I kind of wanted to do a week update just to kind of let you know how I feel about the wig. Especially since this is my very first wig. I have never had a wig before. I've never cared for a wig before. And I also wanted to show you what it looks like straightened. So I wanted to um, kind of inform you if I have changed my mind about any things that I feel about the wig. Um, kind of how I've been dealing with it in the past week and a half or so and kind of just telling you the honest truth about how I feel about this wig. So if you want to continue watching this video, make sure that you stay tuned. Do not forget to subscribe if you like these kinds of videos and you like me and also like this video if you want to see more about this wig. So let's just get started into the video. So the first thing that I want to talk about is um, how thick the hair is. Now when it came in the packaging, it was super thick, it was very much curled, so I wanted to make sure that when it was straight, it was going to also look as um, as thick as it looked when it was curly. And this is kind of what it looks like straight. It is the thickest hair that I think I've ever had in my life. Um, it's just like super, like it, it's so natural looking, like there is no straggly ends. The ends are all the way to the bottom very thick. There's no like little string pieces, because I don't know if you remember. A couple of the previous extensions that I have worn in the past, if you have watched my other videos, kind of shown that I had some stringy pieces, especially when it was very long. Um, granted, this is 22 inch hair, I've had longer, but I kind of wanted to tell you that from roots all the way to tip, the hair remains very thick, which I'm extremely happy about. Now, I also want to tell you the cons about this hair, and I know that you guys probably want to hear that now. Um, the con about the hair is it gets a little bit on the tangly side, but I feel like that is super normal for very thick wigs. Um, if you are going to have thick hair, even if it's your own hair, your hair is going to tangle throughout the day. So I do brush it every once in a while, and I will tell you that there are no pieces of hair that come out of this wig, um, which means it's really sturdy into the cap, which is super important to me because I want to make sure that I'm not going to be losing a lot of hair out of this wig so that it can last me a lot longer, which I have not lost um, many pieces of hair, maybe like one or two since I've had the wig um, out of it, which is super important to me. And um, I honestly really feel like the quality of the cap and the way that the hair is put into it is great. Um, I do put a lot of heat to my wig. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you, I have straightened it a few times just to get the bumps out of it, but I haven't had to do it that much. Um, I leave my wig in a drawer that I have, an Ikea drawer, and um, I just kind of lay it in there to keep it from tangling overnight because I do not have a wig block or a head to put it on. So I wanted to make sure that I preserve it and keep it safe. Um, I wanna do a separate video of just how I care for my wig, of all the products that I use, and I can even make it into like a hair tutorial. If you guys wanna see that, give this video a thumbs up because I definitely am considering doing that. Um, another thing that I think is a con about the hair is the fact that because it's not a full lace wig, which I honestly am going to be 100% honest with you, I had no idea that it wasn't a full lace wig because many of her wigs on the site are full lace, but because she added an extra track or two into the wig to give it a more fuller look, I actually do not have a full lace wig. And you can kind of see right up in this crown area when I separate my hair. Um, the cap which really 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 bugs me so what I just do is I just push it back and it's fine so yeah I just push it back and just lay it nice and it looks fine it's not something that's a really that big of a deal to me but I wanted to just be honest with you guys about the things that I have been noticing so let's just get into the pros of this wig because that is what's most important so as I've already said in the beginning of this video it is very thick and um, dense um, it's a very heavy wig another thing is is that if you measure your head right I measured my head before I purchased the wig because I wanted to make sure that once I was spending a lot of money on a wig that I wasn't gonna get a wig that wasn't gonna be my cap size because her return policy is a little bit tricky if you don't um, have any real issue with the wig I don't think you can really return it so I just wanted to make sure that I had exactly the cap that I was looking for so I ended up going with a medium sized cap and it really honestly sits on my head perfectly I have seen a lot of girls who have had to glue or tape their wigs down because they were a little bit um, big in this area. So I kind of want to just show you kind of how I'm able to move it around, take it on and off my head, but how flat it lays to my scalp. So as you can see, this is kind of how it lays and it looks super natural. It lays, it has a nice amount of baby hairs and it just looks really perfect with 
um, my head and it sits on there nicely. So that's really important to me that the cap size fits well and um, I really love that. Another thing that I love about this wig is I get compliments on it all the time. I know that sounds crazy, but every time I go out, somebody always tells me how beautiful my hair looks, how natural it looks. Um, if they end up asking me if it's a wig or not, they always say it looks super natural. It is just beautiful in person. Um, you can never really explain. Sometimes in pictures, people can pull off a wig and it looks so beautiful and natural. And then you see them in person and it doesn't look natural at all. It actually looks unnatural and too thin or too synthetic looking and it just doesn't look right but mine in person looks like it's growing right from my scalp which is super important for me because I wanted to make sure that it was something that I could wear every day and not feel self-conscious or insecure about because I am used to honestly before I had frontals and closures um, I always had my leave out and the top out and I would just wear extensions because I was super self-conscious about like the wig look but because people have reinvented what it means to have a wig I'm able to wear a wig and feel just as confident and Freedom Couture really makes her wigs to where they look really natural on the head and they just don't like really look wiggy which I think that I really just explain that to a T. So yeah, they don't look wiggy at all and they're very natural looking, which I love. Um, another thing that I like about her and her company is that she does reach out to you after purchasing the wig. If you post her on social media, she always says thank you. On my last video that I posted um, that I do think that you guys should go watch, so I will definitely list that somewhere in the video to watch it. But um, what I think is really important is that she reached out to me and said thank you so much for purchasing the wig. And I just really feel like that customer, um, seller, um, conversation is really important sometimes it's hard to get in touch with some sellers especially if you have concerns and issues she seems like a person who just really is always there if you need a question answered or anything I emailed her probably a thousand times before purchasing the wig because I really wanted to make sure that buying this wig was going to be a real good investment and not something that I was gonna be scammed for and she answered my email with paragraphs and paragraphs about how to take care of the wig how to measure your head for the wig and all that which I honestly love supporting companies that are like this and I got a lot of comments on my recent video about how they couldn't understand how I purchased such an expensive wig and how I could have made it and this and that and I totally agree. Um, I personally do not tell people how to spend their money so I wouldn't expect that back but honestly like it doesn't really bother me because I know what I got out of my money and I honestly truthfully feel like it was worth $2,000. I do think this wig is going to last me a very long time. I'm going to be able to wear this every day and it not be an issue and it not get tangly to the point where I am never going to be able to brush a knot out of it. It's going to be something that I can wear in the water and here and there. So to me, it, it honestly adds up to me constantly having to replenish my hair extensions and having to actually get my hair installed. It, it ends up costing the same amount. So I'd rather have something that's easy to slip on and off and I can be able to let my head breathe at night and wear my silk cap and just be able to sleep than have to have my hair braided up and to be in extensions for two to three months at a time. So that is why I felt like the investment was 100% worth it. Um, and yeah, so I definitely think that if you are making an honest living and you are able to really save up for this wig, I would, I would definitely recommend this wig to you guys because it is a great investment and I think that everybody should splurge a little bit on themselves and invest in really good products. So yeah, um, if you guys have any more questions on this wig and if I still am going to like it, I, I can actually really do a one month review on this wig for you guys if you want. This is only just a week out and I wanted to show you guys it straight. If you guys want to see some hair tutorials on how I wear the wig, you can definitely comment that down below. I am still head over heels in love with this wig. I just wanted to tell you guys the things that I noticed about the wig that I didn't notice in the beginning. So yeah, and thank you guys so much for all the views on my last video. It was really um, something that I was not expecting and I'm really happy that um, everyone seemed to like the wig and like the video. So I will definitely post more videos like this on my channel for you guys. You guys know I love doing hair company reviews and doing like wig reviews and extension reviews. So I definitely can't wait to do that more for you guys. 
Um, if you haven't already, make sure that you subscribe down below and like, give this video a thumbs up. Um, it would really mean the world to me. I cannot wait to grow my YouTube channel with you guys. And honestly, if you ever have any questions or anything like that, I am so open to answering them. I usually answer everybody's YouTube comment questions very fast. So just ask me any question that you want and I will answer it for you guys. And yeah, thank you so much for watching guys and stay tuned for my next video.